The birth control pill, called O-Pill, will soon be available in stores without a prescription. Today, the FDA approved the oral contraceptive for over-the-counter sale in the United States for the first time ever. Advocates say this is a monumental step in the battle over reproductive rights. Board-certified OBGYN and chief medical officer at Very Health, Dr. Jessica Shepard, joins us now. Dr. Shepard, break it down for us. I mean, who will be able to buy this birth control where will it be available? And for people wondering, how soon can they start asking for it? Now, all the questions, I think that this is very <laughs> exciting that today, you know, we have, again, our first available over-the-counter birth control. Now, looking how we have done this, over the last 50 years, we have used this combination of a pill, which is progesterone only. So I really wanted to emphasize that when we look at the safety and the efficacy of what we're having over-the-counter now, seeing in the O-pill. Now, this will be slated to be available early 2024. Now, when it comes to cost, uh, you know, those are things that we don't quite know right as of today but we're starting to see some of those costs rolling out. Now, I know that people are wanting to know who's going to be able to access uh, this progestin-only birth control. And this is why it's a landmark, is because it's going to be available uh, to women who want to make the uh, uh, choice to use birth control and maybe have an access issue or maybe just don't have the availability to get to the doctor. But this is a way for them to have autonomy and making decisions for their reproductive health. And you touched on this a little bit, mentioning this has been around and been in use for 50 years. But let's go a little deeper on that for people who might be worried. OK, well, if I get this over the counter, is it going to be as good as what I got before via a doctor from a medical standpoint? Uh, what do you think in terms of safety? What would be your message that you really want people to take with them? Yeah, I know, you know, we have had this for 50 years. So this is something that we have prescribed. And now looking at the combination of it being only progestin when we have varieties that have both estrogen and progesterone, again, is knowing the differences and the nuances of taking a progestin-only pill, which will require, again, some maybe uh, medical attention in the fact of knowing what you're taking and why you're taking it and how to take it and for it to be the most effective. Now, when we look at all birth controls, really, there's always going to be a risk of failure. But that risk of failure usually comes with misinformation or not taking it the way that it's in being intended to take. So again, we have seen that this type of birth control can be very reliable, be very effective, and is also safe. All right, and we will check back in with you when we get more information on how much this will potentially cost. Uh, an exciting development and big news here. All right, Chief Medical Officer at Very Well Health, Dr. Jessica Shepard, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.